Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect MetaMask to your website in 2023. So today we're going to explore the integration of MetaMask, which is a popular Ethereum wallet with your website. So if you're eager to enable Ethereum-based transactions or interact with decentralized application like dApps, stick around and let delve into the step-by-step -step process of connecting your MetaMask to your website. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser for you, whatever browser you're using. Now, you'll have to go and install the MetaMask extension. Just go and visit the browser extension store compatible with your browser like Chrome, uh, Chrome Web Browser, or if you have Firefox, like Firefox add-on for Brave and many other browser, all of them use the Chrome Web Store. So just go in this URL section, type Chrome Web Store dot, of course, Google dot com and hit the enter button. And this should take you into the Chrome Web Store right away. In here, you'll have just to go to the top right corner and simply type Meta Mask and hit the enter button. As you can see, you'll find that the first one, this is the icon. Just go and click on that. And you can simply go and add it to your uh, browser. If you have Brave, you'll find Add to Brave. If you have Chrome, you'll find Add to Chrome. If you have any other browser, you'll find Add to that. Firefox don't uh, have that. Of course, you can do that in Chrome web browser, but they have the add-ons, their add-ons by their own. So for me, I'll just go and add, click on Add to Brave, Add Extension. And here, as you can see in the meanwhile, you can read the overview, see what people saying about us here in the reviews, details, privacy, support, something like it, like BNB chain wallet and etc. Once it's added, as you can see, once it's done, you can simply go to this top right corner, uh, extensions, click on that, and you can always pin it to have easy access to it. Of course, you may not like have the same icons, so just hover the icons that you have until you find extensions and click on that and pin it. So as you can see, You'll have to get started and uh, make sure to check this option, which is I agree to MetaMask terms of use. Now you'll have to import an existing wallet if you have one. As example, just go and enter like the word that you have. If you don't have it, uh, of course, you'll have to choose how many words first of all. And if you don't have it, you'll not be able to recover it. That's for sure. And of course, if you don't have one, just go and click on create a wallet. I agree. Password, I'll just like create a password so just go into that and confirm that password and I understand um, cannot recover this password for me so make sure to save it around click on create wallet of course they'll give you a video on how it's working etc so make sure to see that so you can remind me later of course or you can just secure my wallets very easily so make sure that nobody's looking I'll just reveal that and as you can see I'll just go and like, I don't know, I'll take a picture of that and save it somewhere. Of course, for you, like make sure to show that to nobody. For me, I'll delete like this wallet after all or after just this video right away. And for you, as I said, make sure to save it just for your own. So for me, I'll just go here and click on next. And as you can see, they will tell me that I have to fill those uh, words. So here it was bring here. It was urge, and here it was dance. So simple as that. Until I finish, click on confirm. I got it. I did that already. Click on done, and here we are. You can enable the security alert if you want to. So now you don't even this. You need this anymore. You can simply go and access that, and you will find it right away in there, as you can see. So you'll be able to start using it. Now what you'll need to do? I'll just even close this. So now we have our MetaMask ready to use. You'll have now to go and access your website's back, backend code or where you want to integrate MetaMask. Include the MetaMask JavaScript library in your project. And this library will allow your website to interact with the MetaMask extension. As an example, I'll just use like uh, in here, a Shopify website. So I'll just go to shopify.com, log in into my account and access, of course, a store or a website is the same. So in here, I'll just go and customize your online store, customize the theme. 
and of course I'll go to my online store and customize my online store so here as you can see I'll be able to customize a lot of things what you'll need of course is to simply go and access not the theme settings uh, I'll basically need to access the code settings let's see I guess I'll find its own settings so it does not seem like we can find this here so probably we'll have to do it like back in there I just have to access the settings so for this is of course for my website on Shopify for you just access your settings of your website and yeah there is it the custom CSS so you'll have to go and get the custom CSS in here and you'll have to go and set up a new project or create a project directory with the follow uh, the following structure of course the structure will be something like this as you can see so simple dap like SRS or source index JavaScript or GS destination and index.html of course, if you don't know like uh, how to code your example, uh, you can always use like ChatGPT. So go to chat.open, so openai.com, access that, log into your account or create your account and ask them an example, example. I want to include my meta mask wallets into my websites. So I'll just, uh, so web site. So give me an example of the steps to do so and the code that I sh should add. So I'll just enter something like that. And as you can see, they'll give me the steps with the code that I have to add as, you can, as an example. So HTML, JavaScript. So they give you basically everything how to check like the metamask availability the code for that to request the user permission to interact with that uh, as an example so you have to enter that code into the destination of your store where you have the custom css and you'll be good to go of course you have two options you have the javascript uh, code and you have the html so if you have like uh, how to add html do it if you have how to add javascript do it if you have both just add whatever you want and you'll be basically good to go already. Like you can now, of course, handle like the connection events and implement like the events ha handling for wallet connection, define the actions perform when user connects with their meta mask wallets, such as the displaying their wallet's address or initiating the transaction. You can test even the wallet's connection like uh, by accessing your website, ensure your MetaMask prompts users to connect to their wallet and that your website interacts correctly with the MetaMask extension. And if your website involves Ethereum transaction, in integrate functional or functions that allow users to perform actions like sending tokens, interact with smart contacts, uh, contracts and executing transactions and you can even handle like error scenarios. You can develop error handling mechanism to manage scenarios where MetaMask is not installed or the user decline the connection requests and yeah that's it so make sure to do like the documentation or document the integration steps and functionalities for future reference through like the test the metamask integration across different browsers and scenarios to ensure its smoothly functionality and for you like congratulations you've already uh, good to go so congratulations for you thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and i'll see you in the next video